I'm Bree. And I'm Jamie. Tell us about that one time. Oh my goodness, Bree. It is so good to see you. Hi again. Well, hello. You know, I was actually looking forward to the next time we were going to be able to sit down and do this again. Yes. I am excited to hear who called. I know. So if you guys don't know, we're listening to voicemails one at a time, day by day, and just interacting and talking back with you. So let's listen to today's voicemail. Hi, I was just calling because I've been listening to you guys' podcast for about, I don't know, a couple weeks maybe. Um, I just found your podcast not too or not too long ago. I was just calling because I really did. Um, I've been listening, well, to basically every single episode, and I'm almost caught up. And uh, I've experienced, like, a lot of weird, weird things, you know, different phenomena and sleep paralysis. Um, last year in June, I was, like, outside. It was, like, a sunny day. And all of a sudden, I heard, like, this loud noise. It was, like, a clear, sunny day. And I heard this loud, like, humming, vibrating noise that I could feel through my body. And it just seemed like if it was, um, like, on top of me, basically. I was outside loading up my truck because I worked, you know, outside. And, um, and so, like, I, like, sat there and my mom saw me from the from the kitchen window and she I guess she got tripped out or something and she was like she came out oh man hold on oh that was the end of the voicemail Brie uh oh it was the Uh-oh. government you know what? Carl always be cutting people off. That's like the worst. Okay. Uh, Especially oh, us. You know what? I think we might have, I think we might have a backup. I think she called back and left another voicemail. Oh, cool. Okay. Hold on. Wait, let's play this one then. Hi. Okay. So my last voicemail or message got interrupted. Sorry. But anyways, as I was saying, um, so yeah, this is like 11 something in midday and my mom saw me and she walked out there and I was just like looking cause I could hear this thing. And to my eyes, I could see like, I don't know if it makes sense, but like those invisible cloak devices or technology, whatever that you see in, you know, Avengers movies and stuff like that. To where it's like reflective, like you can see, you see clouds through them and stuff. That's exactly what I could see. Like with my eyes, I could see that, that there was something weird. Like it, maybe if there was a holographic image or something, uh, some kind of a reflective technology, I don't know. But I couldn't see anything. And I could just see this big mass moving slowly over and over, you know, overhead where I was at. And I'm over here in Texas, so... Like in the place where I'm at, I've seen a lot of a lot of weird things. And so my mom came out and she like told me that I was staring up at the sky, looking and stuff, trying to figure, you know, what the hell was up there. And she started looking because, and I asked, I'm like, do you feel that? Like, do you hear that? And she's like, yes. What is it? And I'm like, I don't know. And so we were both there. It lasted for a good 20 minutes. It was like this big, massive thing. Like, it tripped me out. And, uh, yeah, I. she said that she wouldn't have believed me if I, you know, if I would have told her, she probably would have thought that I was just high or something, which I <laughs> wasn't at that time, at that moment. But, <laughs> yeah, that's been one of my latest, I guess you can say, experiences. Um, just in daylight, plain sight, you know, stuff like that. But I wanted to say that you guys are pretty cool, you know. Um, y'all talk about some really cool, cool stuff. I honestly always thought about all of these things. Like, um, 
you know, am I crazy? Am I the only person that feels this shit? Like, aliens is just a sensitive topic that you don't really want to talk to anybody but about, especially conspiracies. It's just something that you don't bring up with anybody. But, like, my brother and I, um, we, we watched that movie, The Fourth Kind, and I was scared shitless, and he was too. <laughs> so, um, Same. With middle children, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but we're the ones that are most like my dad, and my dad was very, um, prone to... Oh, she got cut off again. Is there a third... You know what? I have just have a, a revelation, Brie. What? This voicemail is also from Tay. It does sound like her. It's the same number. So she didn't call back a third time. The third third phone call we got from her was the voicemail we did the last time. So this is kind of like a Tay part two. Oh. And we kind of have an unfinished story. It sounds like Tay has a lot of stories. First of all, Tay, keep calling in yeah so it sounds like something i've heard a few times um this kind of hum that is accompanied by seeing ufos or maybe uh et contact or you know feeling a presence of ets um i've heard about it in more than one things there's actually whole towns that i know that have had this kind of hum going on you know a lot of people i think associate ufos and things with not having any sound but i think that sound resonance is huge in the ET community and it's a huge topic that I think a lot of people don't understand and I think that there's a lot more to the hum than people think I mean it could be not necessarily the craft but it could be an opening of a portal or space-time fabric being ripped open and it could cause that type of resonant um, hum and I know, like, the whole towns and stuff that have that are usually in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. But I think it might stretch across. I wonder if she lives on the 33rd parallel or, well, like, she, the 37th she, parallel. You know, what's funny is she does live in Texas. And the 33rd and the 37th parallel go right through Texas. I think it's just the 33rd. but They think the 37th as well. Huh. Yeah. So there's a huge possibility maybe she lives in between the two and that's why she's getting all the weird shit. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's a crazy story. I know. And it's also cool that you said that your mom kind of saw that because one thing I think that's really important in this community is like validating each other's experiences and like being able to share those experiences with the people around you. So mm -hmm. having her being able to be there and like feel how crazy it felt, hear this weird hum, like looking up at the sky, like seeing nothing, but knowing that something should be there and being able to both have those feelings at the same time are like so important and yes important valuable um no matter how many times we want to think that you know we don't care about other people's opinions i think that when it comes to this subject and when it comes to family it's nice to have that validation it's nice to feel like you can talk about it and you know, who knows the next thing that happens to her if she'll be able to tell her mom and her mom will believe her because of that one time that she was there for that. <laughs> that one time she had contact with aliens. Exactly. That one time she was abducted by aliens. Just that one time aliens. That one time aliens. Exactly. Uh, I wonder if she'd like to come on our podcast sometime. I know, have a little chit chat, get get some kind of more in depth conversations about these experiences that she's been having. Because mm -hmm. it sounds like it's uh, more than one. Uh, I will say, I it, what really resonates with me, and me and Brie both kind of like jumped up when you said it was the fourth kind. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time also scared the living shit out of me. I had to move my bed. I couldn't look out a window. I got a goddamn owl tattoo because of it. Like it's very yeah. I didn't like, leave I, my house for yeah. over a couple days yeah like that was traumatizing and terrifying but also wonderful at the same time I think yeah um, and I don't I don't know if it's because you guys are our middles because I'm the oldest and Bree's the oldest so we're older we're the we're the eldest with with the connections you know um but it, it's always nice to again you have your brother who is experiencing it as well and it sounds like your dad was probably an experiencer which is mm -hmm. you know very in line with people and we talk about these bloodlines of people who have et contact it's it it goes back generations and it it follows 
you into the future and the past. Absolutely. They're two middle bitches, so for sure. I know. I don't know. I believe it. I'm sure that I feel like there's some type of connection with the two of them. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think she's being slowly contacted in that way where we're left to contemplate whether or not we're crazy because it's not, like, so, you know, in your face confrontational. Exactly. That's the hardest kind, but it's also can be the most rewarding. influential. Yeah, yeah. rewarding. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we can't wait to talk to you more, Tay. I think that's I know. super cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So I think next time we'll probably do a voicemail that's not from Tay. <laughs> I feel like we might have more in there from her, <laughs> which is exciting. But if you guys want to be on this, call, leave a voicemail. We're making our way down the list and you never know who could we be, could be talking to next. Maybe that's true. Maybe on the next one, Brie, what if, let me just throw this idea out there. What if on the next one, we call one of these numbers back? Oh. Oh. Maybe just an impromptu, let's see if anyone answers. Let's like throw it out there on their brain so that they get a weird phone call from a weird number on a random day. Yes. Maybe psychically, intuitively, they'll know it's us. <laughs> we'll, we'll answer the phone like, have you or a loved one been <laughs> contacted by aliens? Have you or a loved one ever been abducted by an alien? Call 1-800-ABDUCTION. <laughs> I love it. That's a vibe. All right, guys. We love you. And love we'll you. see you soon for the next voicemail. Toodles.